Mrs. Hat doesn't know what to think. She's been delving into her Facebook statistics, trying to find out how to check views on her Facebook videos, and she found out. But she also found out that hardly anyone is watching to the end. She doesn't know, does this matter? She doesn't know what to do about it. Let's roll back in time to see how she discovered this information and what she might do about it. There are four places on Facebook where you can see stats on your Facebook video. There's on the post itself, there's Facebook page insights, there's creator studio, and there's the download that you can create from Facebook page insights. Let's start with the post itself. It's showing 604 views on the video. And if we click into insights, we can also see that there were 16 clicks to play. But what does that mean? Does that mean that only 16 people actually watched the video properly? Not necessarily. This was a live broadcast, so some people would have watched it live. Some people would have seen it auto playing in their feed, so they would have seen it that way. The 16 people were 16 people who actually clicked the play button and chose to watch it. The second place that Mrs. Hat went looking for her video stats was Facebook Page Insights. She clicked into the post tab and she clicked on the video post. And here's where stuff got interesting. The 605 video views that she had seen were three second video views. Now, three seconds may not seem like long, but actually it's the time that it would take you to scroll very slowly through three screens of Facebook. That's long enough for somebody to stop scrolling and register that this is a post from you. And we'll talk about how to optimize that later. The next stats were interesting. From those 605 three second video views, only 170 people hung around for 10 seconds. And out of those 170, only 34 people stayed to watch for a minute or more. And in fact, the average video view for those 605 views was 13 seconds. But Mrs. Hat still couldn't see how many people actually watched a video all the way through. Maybe Creator Studio could shed some light on it. She clicked into Insights and straight away, this showed her the Video Stats dashboard. And it looks quite healthy. This is just showing her the video views for the last seven days. She can change this if she wants to, to a longer period, just by clicking at the top. And at the side, she found these handy filters that could tell you a little bit more about your video viewers. She particularly liked followers versus non-followers and organic versus paid. Scrolling down, she found that video, the video that she was trying to find the stats on. Because this was a live video, right at the top of the statistics for this specific video, it showed her data about the live stream. She also noticed that on the right-hand side, you could see how well this video was performing compared to other videos on her page. And it seems to be doing quite well. It's got a longer view time and more one minute video views and shares. This still doesn't tell her how long people were watching for, so she scrolled down further. And here's a new stat, 15 second video views. We haven't seen that before. Let's make a note of that. The audience retention graph looks a little bit scary. We'll come back to that. And right at the bottom, there's a screen that shows you the demographics of the people who are watching. So this is important if you want to make sure that the right people, the people you want to watch, are actually the people who are watching. But let's look at that retention graph in a little bit more detail. Click the retention button on the left hand side. This brings you into a more comprehensive graph where we can see that there was a massive drop off in viewers right at the beginning. In fact, for the first 35 seconds of the video, there was a huge amount of people leaving. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that it was a bad video. It just means that people on Facebook don't want to watch. More on that later on. 
But still, this information doesn't tell us what Mrs. Hat was looking for. It doesn't tell us how many people were actually watching for longer than a minute. So finally, she went to her Facebook page Insights for a download. Yes, this does mean an ugly spreadsheet. And this spreadsheet is where Mrs. Hat finally found the information. Let's have a look. I'm highlighting the row on the spreadsheet just so that we can see it easily relating to the video that we're analyzing. Now, if you scroll across to column P, this shows you your unique video views. That's the exact number of individual people who watch for three seconds or more. Column R shows you the number of unique 30 second videos and column T shows you unique viewers to 95%. Finally, that statistic that Mrs. Hat was looking for and the number is three. You can see why Mrs. Hat is confused. 605 people watched her video for three seconds or more, but only three people made it 95% of the way through. So let's have a look at those questions that Mrs. Hat had at the beginning. Is it worth posting video on Facebook. I think so. It might not be the best place to get people to watch your entire video all the way through, but as long as the first three seconds of your video are on brand, you will be memorable and you will make an impact on those 605 viewers. And you can retarget those three second video viewers with ads. And because those people are aware of your brand, because you've made an impact on them, they're more likely to take an action on your ad. This is Hat's second question is what can you do about this? Well, number one, you could make shorter videos. Remember, people aren't coming to Facebook to watch videos. That's not their reason for being there. So it's hard to make them sit down and watch a 25 minute long video. Number two is to optimize the first three seconds of your video. As we've seen, three seconds is actually quite a long time in Facebook world. So use the first three seconds of your video to capture the attention of your audience. Use burnt in captions so that people don't need to switch the sound on to see what you're saying. Make it enticing or puzzling or helpful. Give people some sort of idea about what's going to happen if they continue to watch. And be on brand. Use your brand colors. Use your face. Use your logo so that people who see three seconds of your video will remember you the next time they see you. And number three, Monitor it by calculating your conversion rate. So your conversion rate from reach to video views, from three second video views to 10 second video views, from 10 second video views to one minute video views, from one minute video views to 95% video views. And calculate the conversion rate for the whole lot. What am I talking about? What is conversion rate? How do you calculate it? Well, I've made a video to show you how. And if you would like a digital marketing lesson just like this one in 10 minutes or less per week, subscribe to this channel and click the bell so that you get a notification when I upload a new one.